Hey everyone, Carl Auer here from Carl Auer Photography. I'm on my way to shoot another soccer game and I thought maybe I'd share a little story with you this time instead of doing another shooting guide. Um, I thought, I thought I might share the story of the time that I was contracted to shoot Sarah Palin. And when I say shoot, yes, I mean photograph. When I first got the contract, I said to someone, oh yeah, I'm contracted to shoot Sarah Palin. And they looked at me like, what? And I thought from that point, yeah, I need to reword that. Uh, I've always used shoot as a term for taking photos, but when you're looking at a vice presidential candidate, not a good thing to say. So anyway, um, I lived in Alaska when I was younger, uh, from 1975 until 1984, and then I spent time in Seattle, and that's where I started photography. In 2003, I moved back to Alaska and you'll have to check out the main channel, Carl Auer uh, YouTube channel, which the link will be below, for more details on that in an upcoming video. But while I was in Alaska, I did a lot of different photography. Uh, I, I shot a lot of sports, but besides sports, I went out. I was shooting wildlife, I was shooting some landscapes, but I shot a lot of politicians. I, I Every couple of years there was a, Mer a Memorial Day ceremony at the National Cemetery at Fort Richardson on Jay Bear. And one year that I went to photograph that, Sarah Palin was governor of Alaska. And I took photos of her speaking, giving her governor's address and, and uh, the like. Uh, her daughter Bristol was with her, and I got some photographs of Bristol too. Uh, one year I was shooting the Iditarod, and Sarah Palin was there along with former mayor and senator uh, Mark Baggage and current senator Lisa Murkowski. And they were cutting a ribbon to open, start the Iditarod, open the trail. Um, I also substituted for uh, the team photographer for the Alaska Wild, a uh, now defunct, intense league, football league, indoor football team. And Palin was there when she was governor to flip the coin. Uh, do the coin toss at the start of the game. So I had these photos in a gallery set aside. I, they were up on Photo Shelter. Another video coming soon. And when John McCain tapped Palin to be his vice presidential candidate, Europe, European Press Association, EPA, uh, contacted me and said are you available to photograph Sarah Palin on election day and I said yeah we worked out a half day rate I won't go into rates uh, because this was so long ago and the rate then compared to a rate today half day day whatever are different uh, the, the, it's more today than it was then but back then, I'll, I will say, the day rate or the half day rate that we agreed on was really nice. It was definitely high, more than I thought I would get back then. But anyway, uh, I said yeah, and they said now we understand that. I mean, it was only it was less than a week till the election, and they said we understand you're probably not going to get in to uh, where Palin's voting, but. I mean, if, if there's a chance you can get photos of her, great. Uh, if you can get photos of people, so, uh, Palin supporters campaigning around the town on election day, that would be great. Uh, but just do what you can. I said, okay. So election day came along and I got up way early. I lived in Eagle River, which is about 25 miles out of Anchorage. And 
depending on where you live, it's about 10 or 15 to 20 miles to Wasilla. And I went to downtown Wasilla to City Hall, and that's where Palin was set to vote. And there was a media corral in a parking lot in a vacant lot across the street from the City Hall. And Secret Service everywhere. So I got close to the building, and I was looking in, and I was like, well, you know, I could get some photos of her coming in, but I couldn't see the voting booths at all. So... I decided, you know, I'm going to go over to Secret Service. They have a little checkpoint and see if they'll let me into the media corral. And the first thing they asked me was for my credentials. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm freelance. I've been contracted by European Press Association. And they said, uh, we need to see an assignment. So I had my iPhone, and I believe it was my iPhone 3GS, the second iPhone I ever had. Uh, I'm on the 7 Plus now, and we'll likely have the 8 Plus or the X by the end of the year. The uh, I pulled up the email from EPA, and they looked at it, and they said, Okay, we need to uh, scan you and check your equipment. I was like, Okay. Boy, they had me walk through a metal detector, and I didn't set it off. But even after that, they wanted me with a handheld metal detector they it was sensitive enough it got my earring and they had me take that earring out and, and uh, put it on a table while they wanted me again just to make sure and they went through everything in my camera bag they had me taking batteries out of the camera they had me turning the cameras on they had me um take lenses off and uh oh wow it was just insane but once i got through everything they said all right you're clear and i went into the media room or media corral the corral consisted of uh some risers kind of like when you were in high school or grade school and in choir uh and all the media was stacked up on the risers i was on the top standing right next to me was Peter Alexander from NBC News and then there were reporters from and videographers and photographers from print television and radio and web from around the world and we stood there when I got there we ended up standing there nearly 45 minutes before Palin made an appearance and it was November in Alaska it was cold so, when she came out, I took my photos, and she was out there for about 15 minutes, but I took my photos of her, and her husband, Todd, was with her. They both had the little I Voted stickers on them, and when I was done, I drove around the city of Wasilla looking for people campaigning for Palin, and I found a few here and there. Uh, once I... Once I located uh, a good group, a good section of, of campaigners, I stopped and I uh, got some shots of the, the people who were campaigning for her. And then I headed to... I. After I got photos of people campaigning for her, I headed to IHOP. IHOP uh, was close by in Wasilla, and it um, it had free Wi-Fi. So I had my laptop with me, and I went into IHOP, and while I w ordered and waited for food and ate, I downloaded, uh, selected the photos I was going to send to EPA, uh, edited them, captioned them, and sent them, FTP'd them off to uh, e EPA. Within a few hours of them receiving the photos, I was paid. Uh, and they were excited about it and thanked me. And, oh, over the next few weeks and months, I started doing some searching. And I know 
I don't know about print editions, but I know online my photo was used around the world. There were Russian, Chinese, European, uh, Asian, and South American websites that had my photo of Palin and her husband Todd uh, used in articles. And it was pretty cool. Um, now, I could have gone out and photographed Palin outside of the corral uh, from a distance with a telephoto uh, and tried to sell the photos on my own. But the access I got, the closeness I got, uh, gave me an opportunity to get photos and get paid. Get a, I mean, honestly, now there's a chance that I could have got photos of her on election day and sold them myself and made what I made on that day rate or half day rate with one photo sale. But that's a chance. That's called spec shooting. And we'll talk about that in another video. But you're hoping someone will buy. And I already had a client. So it was it was great. Plus it opened up opportunities for me in the future. So anyway, that's the story of how I was contracted to shoot, photograph Sarah Palin. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And then hit the little reminder bell, and then you'll know when a new video goes up. I'm trying to put a video up once a week. Uh, and it's going to be everything from shooting guides to reviews to stories like this to just a whole bunch of stuff photography related. Uh, until next time, keep shooting.